Um, frustrating standing here. Um, very emotional night, very emotional moment, emotional week, emotional night. Um, I thought we did some really good things on defense. Uh, I thought we did some good things on defense. I thought in the first half we really played well enough um, probably for it to be a 6-3 football game in the first half on defense. Um, offensively, we couldn't run the ball. Uh, we couldn't throw the ball with any consistency. We couldn't protect our quarterback with any consistency. It made for a very long night when you go against the number two pass defense in the league, as good as they are, and you can't run the ball, it's going to be a long day. And we had three turnovers in the first quarter, and I thought our defense was competing with tails off. And then in the second quarter, it seemed like we were starting inside our five-yard line, which gives you a very limited supply uh, of your offense. But then in the second half, we tried to open it up and throw it, um, since we really weren't having a lot of success from a run block standpoint, and put the ball in a freshman's hands and let him um, try and move it. But like I said, through consistency in the passing game and being able to throw it and catch it, through protecting the quarterback, we just couldn't get anything going from an offensive standpoint and made, made for a long night. You only have 10 first downs and your defense is playing their tails off. Um, I think it's probably one of the most lopsided time of possession games that I've ever been a part of. Uh, and it certainly seemed like it on the field. I thought our defense was out there a very long time and it certainly wasn't because our defense wasn't playing well. Uh, I thought our defense really played well, but I don't think our offense did. It was no punt return. Got us backed up a couple times, but um, I did think it was at least nice to see a couple flashes on a kickoff return uh, for some of the woes that we've had back there with that. But just a very frustrating uh, night, a very frustrating year. Uh, we, yeah, we went through an awful lot of players, I said, just from a and with injury bug, you've got Evan Landy's your fourth quarterback, and uh, I thought he, he went in there and did an excellent job for really only being a quarterback for two weeks. Uh, I thought he went in and executed the small amount of things we had asked him to do. But really, a great respect for the senior class. They've kept this, they've kept this thing together through a lot of adversity, through a lot of hard times, and I was really, really proud of the way they came together. And I think that's why there's so much pain in that locker room because of the relationships and the bonds that have been built through this adversity that we've been through. Skip, you talked to, and the players talked all the way about how important it was trying to send the seniors out on the right note. How, how disheartening is it that this is the way that they finish their careers? No, disheartening, disheartening for the seniors, disheartening because I also talked about how important it was for the underclassmen. All the young guys um, we talked about, I think there were, 16 underclassmen that are you know making significant contributions on this team whether that be in a starting role uh, playing a major role and um, it's just it's frustrating it, it is uh, it's frustrating because you certainly wanted to send the seniors out the right way because of the commitment that they've made to this program so many named guys like a bj daniels and lindsey lamar and uh, mikon bonani and some guys that have really been um, almost institutional names, you know, because they've been here so long and had so much success on the field. You certainly would like for them to go out with a win under their belt. And I think it certainly would have been nice for a lot of the underclassmen that are coming back next year to have a win going into the offseason.